On Monday, a group of Native Americans gathered in Omaha to question state and local officials about the status of a case against two former police officers accused of assaulting a mentally ill Native American man who later died, and to call for city leaders to fulfill a promise to create a Native American advisory board. I came and, and helped to open some doors for this community, and we were assured of certain things. I would have anticipated that that advisory committee the mayor talked to should have been in place in one week. Nobody knows nothing about that. So on what the mayor did and the chief of police who made us a lot of promises, they patted us all on the head because that seems to work. It don't work with me and don't work with a lot. You can go to White Clay and ask them. It took us 20 years to shut them down to get justice there, but we got it. And I think we'll get justice for bare heels here, no longer, no matter how long it takes. I mean, tell me what's going on. Just tell me even about the nature of the secret hearings themselves. I can understand that. Sure. Nobody gave them the courtesy to even tell the community what, what this is about. The only people that were that were allowed in that room then were the uh, prospective jurors, the attorneys, and the judge. We're the, we are in the process of recruiting for the advisory council. We've been doing nothing but talking about prospects for that council. Uh, we've uh, had a little bit of trouble at getting folks interested in serving on the council, but we haven't given up yet. So these things take time. We have to find the perfect folks to serve on these councils to advise us on matters uh, uh, pertaining to Native Americans. We haven't given up. It takes time. Marty, with all due respect, and I understand that the, the many responsibilities you have, and I know you for a long time, that was five months ago. Five months ago, I sat in that meeting, and I heard you, I heard the mayor, I heard the chief of police talk about the urgency of this committee. I would have expected, that I, I don't hear because I don't live here, I would have expected that was put together in very short order. Okay. As in 30 to be, days. To and, be, she no, you're, you're telling the truth, no question she about that. She wanted it immediately, but I don't see anything happening. That's the concern that I have, and I voice that concern publicly. We are having a tough time getting volunteers, to be quite honest with you, Frank. Will you help us get volunteers to serve on the board? Would well, you help us get okay, volunteers? Sure. Yes. We have. How many y'all have? I applied, and nobody's. I haven't had an email or nothing. I'm very active in the Native community. You know, what's the problem? It, it, I mean, well, how many people you want? Y'all haven't said nothing. Do you want five, seven, nine? A hundred? I mean, you know, we are we are already small in numbers. How, how many do you expect, you know? We, do, we haven't set a, a particular number yet, but let me just tell you this. Why is that? We're so not getting the level of interest that we, we need to have, and we'd like to have you guys help us with that. That's all I'm saying. It's okay, not like we're, we can do you, that. you're thinking that we're maybe ignoring this issue, and we're, and we're not. Yeah, I'm giving them benefit of the doubt today, you know, but hopefully we'll get, you know, results here, and that'll be uh, formed by the end of the year. That's what I'm hoping. Five months ago, we left here with uh, understanding that we would create a much needed Native American advisory committee. Over that five months, nothing has happened. And uh, what we did today is we talked about immediate steps that need to be taken in light of the grand jury hearings that are going on as we speak. Nobody seems to know anything. And that is uh, that's, um, much to our detriment. I think that we can build good communication to the establishment of the advisory committee and as I said immediate steps are being taken in that regard and I've heard early that uh, I'm not going to trust anybody we trusted everybody five months ago about the next steps that, that needed to be taken nothing happened so I'm not sure whether I trust the city of Omaha right now we will see and hopefully we'll know something in the uh, next few weeks and, and if that uh, group is established, I think that things can be better for all of Omaha, Native and non-Native.